Wow. Dr. Schatzel, thank you, uh, both of you. Those presentations, I, I'm, I, you mentioned my energy. My mentor, Skip Prosser, used to describe me as making coffee nervous. <laughs> but when somebody gets up there and delivers an address the way you did, man, my, my foot started bouncing fast, and I was juiced up and ready to go uh, play a game. I, coaches don't like turnovers, right? Whether it's football, basketball, turnovers are a bad thing. Josh picked me up on an aircraft this morning in Charleston, South Carolina, about 1027, and I uh, committed my first turnover, and hopefully it'll be the last for the day. I walk up to him, and I'm talking my shirt had the slightest, I'm talking the slightest tint of blue. <laughs> and he goes, how far is your house from here? <laughs> Man, look at this. Look at this. Look at the passion that this fan base has. And Dr. Schatzel said it the right way. Uh, and I don't think I can articulate it the way you do, but one of the most historic, tradition-rich programs in the history of college basketball. And you just feel it. You step off that airplane. You walk down the street. Cardinal, you know, Cardinal Nation. Card Nation is everywhere. I have this recurring dream, okay? And a couple of the speeches I've given my life I've talked about this, but it happened again last night, and I got a great night's sleep. He offered me the job. Obviously, the board of trustees had to approve it, but I felt really good. Last couple nights, I didn't sleep really well. I wanted that call. I wanted to be here bad. But when I fell asleep, that dream came back. And good news, I was at the pearly gates. That's a good deal. I walk in. St. Peter meets me. He goes, welcome. I go, awesome, man. I, this is awesome. The ultimate, I'm here. He goes, let me show you around. We walk down the street. Start showing me a few neighborhoods, and there's a house out in the diff distance, and it has kind of a red and then a navy blue tint and kind of a Jayhawk down there on the door. And he goes, man, that's where Bill Self lives. Walk down a little bit further, and there's a cul-de-sac, kind of two houses on the end of that deal, and there's a amazing blue one, and there's a dark navy one, and he says, yep, that's Scott Drew and Dusty May. They, they live there. Like, <laughs> it's ironic, but that, that's cool. That's cool. <laughs> so we walk down further and further and further, and we come to this big deal. I'm talking impressive, big, big crib, manicured. Bentley. It's blue. It's got a UK on it. He goes, that's where Coach Cal lives. Good for him. Cool. We go farther down. I'm talking whew, out in the distance. The moonlight's hitting it perfect at dusk. The biggest deal you've ever seen. And it is a stinking wow. And there's red all over that deal. And there's a big cardinal on it. And I'm like, St. Peter, that's me? He goes, no. I go, Danny Crum? No. Rick Patino? He said, son, that's where God lives. I'll try to be brief with this and we'll get the questions. Who is Pat Kelsey? Try to keep my life simple. There's a quote I believe in that says, true genius is the result of an uncluttered mind. Try to keep it simple. You fundraisers out there, I'm pretty good at fundraising, but I can't golf. I like to draw and paint, stuff like that, but I'm about three things, my faith, my family, and Louisville basketball. My faith is my center, my strength. God is great. The opportunity that I have here today is 100% all God. Family. Family. 
If I were you, I'd buy stock in the Louisville bookstore because the amount of gear that's going to be bought by the Kelsey family coming down from Cincinnati. My mom's one of 10. My dad's one of nine. I have 52 first cousins. And they're all kind of in that I-275 loop and pretty darn close to the Yum Center. My foremost prized possessions in the world, my beautiful Ruthie, my gorgeous Caroline, my best buddy, Johnny Ballgame. And you're gonna ask some questions about recruiting and all that stuff. You wanna know if I can recruit? Meet my wife, Lisa. I'm just praying that she doesn't hit the transfer portal. <laughs> the good news, I was her third choice, and that worked out really well, so I feel really good. Former players, there's too many out there to name. I googled top 50 players in the history of Louisville basketball and I almost fell down. It's a wow, it's a who's who. You kidding me? I'm going to miss many of them, so I'm not going to name one. You could go on and on and on and on. This is your program. This is your program. You don't ever have to call. You never have to ask. You want to come to practice, you just show up. This is your program. You built this. You put banners up in the rafters. I'm lucky to be the steward right now and lead this thing into the next era, but this is your program. I'm not gonna name all of them, but I'm gonna name one, Kenny Payne. Kenny Payne. Obviously didn't work out the way we wanted it, but he is a major, major, major part of Card Nation. And he is welcome back here like everybody else. He's a world-class human being. I don't know him well, but I know a ton of people that know him. And, um, and we're really proud of who he is and that he's a cardinal. Former coaches. I can't name them all, but I mentioned a couple in my story before. I mean, it, 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 I, almost, I can't believe it. I'm going to grace the same sidelines, maybe a different building, as the great Danny Crum and the great Rick Pitino. Are you kidding me? <laughs> What's my philosophy? You know, we don't have enough time to go into all that, but you could simplify it and it boils down to a couple things. One, culture eats strategy for lunch. Culture eats strategy for lunch. Like, you better have a strategy. You better have an offensive philosophy. I have one I really believe in. It's been successful. Defensively, I have one. It's been very, very successful. Recruiting, we have a philosophy that we believe in, and metrics that we study, and intangibles that we evaluate. And all those strategies are great. How you guard your pick and roll, set play team, pressing team, half court team, there's a bunch of them. But it pales in comparison to the strength and the belief and the buy-in of your culture. We say, we call it 25 strong, and you're one of them. Who are you? Our fan base. You make us great. You're one of our major, major, major strengths. And we need you to bring it and be the best fan base in America. Hey, I get it. Very, very knowledgeable, very opinionated, and that's what I signed up for. Bring it. But I'm telling you, we need you on the ship. So let's go. The 25 includes the walk-on point guard, the starting point guard, the head coach, the student manager, the director of basketball operations, the strength coach, the academic advisor. There might be more than 25 but that's significant because we want to live in the top 25, compete for ACC championships, and compete to hang banners in national championships. All 25 people, no role, no job is more or less important than anybody else. But do your job like the best in the country. Do your job with excellence every single day. That's at the heart of our culture. On floor, our cultural blueprint 
contains three things. Relentless effort, competitive excellence, and the power of the unit. Competitive excellence is going as hard as you can every time A to B for about 46 and a half seconds. That's the average time between whistles in a game, our games. What do we achieve by that? We're tougher, toughness. We're tougher than any situation our opponent will face. Two, competitive excellence. That's every rep's a game rep. That's doing your job to the best of your ability every single time. What do we achieve by that? You're ready when your name's called. When the lights are the brightest, when the moment's the biggest, you're ready for that moment because you had excellence in everything you do. Three, power the unit. Power the unit is the uncommon commitment to the guy next to you. It's not my points. It's not my rebounds. It's not my scout. It's not my recruit. It's us. It's being so motivated, not only to be a professional basketball player, it's great. We all have personal ambitions and goals, but it can't supersede the commitment to the guy next to you. Power of the unit. It's based on the most powerful force in the universe, love. Love. You say that's corny. We're a love program. I love my players, and I tell them that every single day. I'm sure you have, have questions. That's what a press conference is, so I'm probably doing a little bit more talking than I should, but I want to finish with a couple thank yous. My mentor, Skip Prosser, taught me a whole lot. The thing I recite to our players every day, and if they forget everything about playing for me, they remember this, never delay gratitude. Never delay gratitude. Thank you. Being appreciative. I'm so blessed to be here. His belief in me, the faith that it took, the belief to pull the trigger on this guy. Thank you. I won't let you down. Dr. Schatzel, I won't let you down. I want to thank the College of Charleston. I want to thank the city of Charleston. It's been home. It's a special place to me, and it's a special place to my family. Taking three, two teenage girls out of high school. It's not easy. That place was home. My athletic director, Matt Roberts, he's a stud. It's a big reason why we build championships. I thank him. I thank Dr. Shu. I thank the administration there. And I thank the city of Charleston. The board of trustees for believing in me and having trust and faith in Matt's, uh, <laughs> sorry, Josh's decision. That's my old athletic director. Second turnover. You got to have a two to one assist to turnover ratio, so I'll work on it. Eula Borden, thank you for all you do and your support and your belief in me. The alumni, right? The fans. The city of Louisville, what a special place this is. I grew up 75 miles north of here. This place has identity, it has a culture, it has uh, pride. Are we the South? Are we the Midwest? Hey, we're both. We're both. I got an education on the airplane, on bourbon. <laughs> I know it's 51% corn. If it ain't from Kentucky, it ain't bourbon. <laughs> Pardon my bad English, Dr. Schatzel. In conclusion, never delay gratitude. Thank you. I'm so excited to get started. You know, I tell our players all the time, no matter what's going on, preseason, injury occurs, lose a game, fellas, the one thing you don't have to worry about is us being really, really good. I can't wait to get started. So blessed to be the head coach here. L's up. Go Cars. <laughs> <laughs>